My name is Dalton Trout, and today I'll be talking about the 3D printer. Typically, we try to print something in the Tech Playground every day using the printer. We've created lots of little models, such as complex shapes, uh, toys, and like a robot named Jeff, complex or simple cube puzzles, uh, nautilus skiers, a model of a rocket, and even some useful items such as a doorstop and a tablet stand. The process we normally use to make these is to go to thingiverse.com and find something we like and just print it, or we use Google SketchUp to make our own 3D models and print them off that. So in this video, I will show you how to export a file from Google SketchUp into MakerBot software and print from it. And I'll also show you how to go to thingiverse.com, download a, an STL file, save it to the desktop, and print from that file. This is the MakerBot Replicator 2. This is the 3D printer we use in the Tech Playground. To begin using it, you need to go to the back, and under this filament roll, there is a switch that you'll need to hit to turn the printer on. You'll know it's turned on when the lights come on and it makes a noise like that. To Before you start making something, you need to preheat the extruder. And to do that, you go to this menu right here, hit down to go to preheat, and hit the, the M to enter. Here we see that the extruder is on. If the extruder is ever set to off, you hit down twice and then hit the M again to turn it on and off. We want it on to preheat. So then we'll hit start preheat. So now I'll show you how to use SketchUp 2015 to make an STL file that we can use to print. When SketchUp 2015 opens, there's generally a model of a man here. This is just to show a sense of scale. I usually delete it and not worry about it. I'm going to make a dice tray just to have a quick print. So we'll make a rectangle and we'll use the extrude option to bring it higher. It doesn't need to be that high. Then we'll make another rectangle on top of it. And we'll use the extrude option again to bring it down. Right there. So we've got a simple dice tray that we'll print. Not exactly the best scale, but it works. So we'll go to File, and then Save, and we'll call it Dice Tray. This makes a .skp file. We want a .stl file for the printer. So .skp is for SketchUp, .stl is for the printer. We'll save the documents. Now that we've got this, we want an STL file. So we'll go to File, and then Export STL. We don't need to change the export units. Model units is what the MakerBot Replicator 2 uses. We don't need to change the file format either. So we hit Export, and we have a file on, or a folder on the desktop called 3D Printer Files. This is where we store all of our printing files. And we'll hit save, and then minimize SketchUp, and we'll open the 3D printer files folder. Scroll down, and we have dystray.stl in here. So then we'll open the MakerBot desktop software. And it brings up this window. And to get the STL file into MakerBot software, we just drag it over, and it appears. Uh, a win a small window will appear that says put object on platform. If you press key position, it'll leave the the, print, the object to be printed over to the side. If you use move to platform, it centers it on the platform. So we've got a pretty good size there. If you want to move it on the platform, you hit this button, and then you can move it around the platform wherever you want. If you use this button, you can rotate it, but we don't need to rotate it any. If you use this button, you can scale it, and that changes the size. Uh, so it looks like we're ready to print. So we'll go to the top right here and hit print. And we'll prepare it. It says this will take about two hours to print. And wraps are on. Wraps are just a, a base. Supports are off. Supports are generally used when you have any overhanging objects. Like this tablet stand. On this tablet stand here you 
how it loops here. When this printed, there were two supports going up in the middle here. And that's how it was able to make an overhang like this. So now we'll hit start print. Once the software has finished verifying, the printer will start. And it raises up and comes out of the extruder there. Again, we know the printer is ready when it gets to 230 degrees Celsius. It kind of drags along like that just to get any excess melted filament off. And then it'll go to the middle and start printing. And this will be uh, about a two hour process, so we'll just kind of let it go for a while. And then it'll be ready soon.